Well, to Harford County tonight, a man in Aberdeen escaped with minor burns after a generator sparked a fire at his home last night. ABC 2 News Jeff Hager standing by with more on the mistake that produced the flames. Jeff. Jamie, fire investigators say the victim was unfamiliar with using a generator and it put both his life and the lives of his family members in jeopardy. These images show where the fire climbed the back wall of the house on Baltimore Street in Aberdeen Tuesday night. And you can see where Andre Beniquez tried to pull the generator and gasoline can away from the home. Yeah. Yeah, Senior Deputy that. State Fire Marshal yeah. Oliver Alkire like says a simple a mistake sparked a fire. Our investigators arrived, determined that Mr. Beniquez uh, was refueling the generator, and while he was refueling it, it was actually running. Inside the home, five family members scrambled to escape as Beniquez tried in vain to put the fire out. Investigators would later learn that he had only used the generator out of necessity. During the investigation, we found out that BG actually came in and shut his power off due to the lack of payment. Uh, he was trying to do the right thing. He went to Home Depot, purchased a gas-powered generator, and in hopes of restoring some power to his home. But a nearby neighbor, Troy Dawson, is far less dismissive of the mishap. All it is is nothing but stupidity. That's all it is. I mean, if you might have to use a generator, have common sense enough to sit away from the house and turn it off when you want to refuel it. Dawson says the previous renters in that same home used a generator in their basement and paramedics had to race the whole family to the hospital with carbon monoxide poisoning. This time, he claims the mishandling of the generator could have put neighbors' lives and property at risk as well. Ambers and everything, I mean, if it did get kicked off as close as the houses set to each other, Ambers can fly out and catch any of these houses on fire. And I'm not too particular. I've got about a year and three months left on mine before it's paid off. I'd rather live in it instead of have it burn down. It was also a costly mistake since the same family that couldn't afford its electric bills has now suffered the loss of the new generator as well as an estimated $5,000 in damage to the house.